everyone, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a video on hair. Um, I got a lot of you asking me about my hair, what I use, the products. So I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I've been trying lately. Um, I've taken my extensions out. So I just washed my hair and the shampoo that I've used back and forth are these. Um, depending on my hair color, sometimes if I go more ashy or I want to control the brassiness, of the color so it doesn't go orange or doesn't go too warm then I use the shimmering lights which are these so these are shampoo and conditioners you can get them from Sally beauty supply stores or wherever beauty stores that you have in your city um, they're pretty reasonable um, both of these together are about 30 35 dollars it's not bad and it does a great job of um, removing brassiness so the shampoo, both, when you use it, you're going to see like a, literally a purple color like this coming out. Here, I'll open one for you to see. See how purple that looks? So yes, the shampoo and the conditioner looks purple. But people will say, will this turn my hair purple? No, it cannot because it's not strong enough. So what it does is that it makes your hair less brassy, meaning it neutralizes the warm tone. If you look at my hair, if I were to leave... The conditioner on for like an hour all it will do is to it will take away the warm tones in my hair it will not be able to turn this color purple let's say those of you who hate brassiness and don't like to have you know warm tones in your hair you can definitely go for this it, it works great this is the l'oreal so the this is the l'oreal moisture power uh, shampoo uh, is this one it's upside down but um, this has been working really well. Uh, my hair is dry. It's winter in Toronto, Canada, so um, you know the hair feels very dry. And I've been using this and for a month or two, and it's been pretty good. But uh, the conditioner is great. So with this one, it's inexpensive. You can get it from Shoppers or Walmart. So if you guys want to try it, you can go and get it. So I just washed my hair about, I say. 15 minutes ago, um, I took my extensions out and toned my hair with a demi hair color. The color that I used for this was the Goldwell 8SB. Um, I did this because I'm going to show you in another video after this one on how to remove colored hair. So meaning a color remover um, video. So let's say if you color your hair, it's too dark. How are you going to get it out without bleaching it? I always suggest to my clients, please don't mush your hair, meaning don't like rub it like this because you are frictioning it and you can cause breakage. So it's best after you come out of the shower to blot the hair. So hold the hair like this and just blot it. So even on the top, just blot it. Um, the one that I really love and um, I can't live without um, I love using this on my extensions because it helps to dry my extensions two times faster. And honestly, it does. Um, so this is a product from KMS, uh, California. It's called Free Shape. So it says, quick blow dry. And besides blow drying, it helps to, you know, moisturize the hair, condition the hair. So it's like a light leave-in conditioner, but in a liquid form. So before you use it, just make sure you shake it like this and then I just spray that all over and don't worry this is not heavy products um, it will it does not weigh your hair down but uh, it really helps to protect your hair before blow drying and it helps it to dry faster and honestly it detangles the hair greatly so um, I'm using the uh, wet brush so it's a great brush to detangle. So when you comb up your hair, please comb from the bottom or brush from the bottom first and go on top. Because if you were to go from the top to the bottom like this, all that stress of detangling will pull on the root of the hair and you may lose your hair. So this is the blow dry that I have. It's really good, it's uh, very powerful. Um, it's great for home use. It's called Babyless Pro, and, you, and it's made in Italy, so it's great. Um, it's heavy duty, and it lasts for a long, long time, like years. 
So um, you can get this at the beauty supply store or online. So I like to flip my head upside down to blow dry so that I have a bit more volume. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, just pay attention how when I blow dry my hair, I tend to hold the root up like this and then blow dry it. It definitely helps to lift the root as well. So my hair is about, I say, 95% dry. Um, most important, I have to stress to you is that please dry your hair at least 100% dry uh, because um, when you start using curling iron or flat iron on damp hair, it will not take because the moisture in the hair cannot help to hold the style. So a lot of time, I know sometimes you think it's dry because even though you have it 100% dry the hair, um, there's still moisture in the hair because you just washed it. So therefore, um, it can still have some moisture left that it doesn't dry out the hair. But if you your hair is still damp or still wet and you start, um, you know, flat ironing or putting it in hot rollers or curl it, it won't take. It will loosen after you put it in. So usually I would put my hair in hot rollers, but today I'm just going to change it up a little bit and show you um, how to style it with a hot airbrush. So with this, it's a different story because since it's a hot airbrush and it has a blow dry built in it and it's a brush, so it's blowing out air. So I can definitely style it since it's about, you know, 90% or 95% dry because there is air blowing out of this. But if it's just plain heat, uh, please have the hair dry completely before you start curling or straight ironing. So, and I'm just going to clip that up. So with this is the um, this brand. Okay, you can find it on eBay, wherever, and, or your beauty supply store. So um, I'm going to. There's two uh, adjusting temperatures. So there's high and low. So if you're a beginner, you can try the low, and once you get more experience and you feel more comfortable, then you can go to the high. So as you can see what I did is that I put the um, brush near my scalp and I over direct the hair, see? I over direct the hair and let it set for about a few seconds. So by doing this it helps to lift the root giving me more volume. So that's how you could do to create more volume. If you can see from this side as well as this side. Usually I would love to use my um, hot rollers. I find it so much easier than to blow dry, but this is just another option for you to do if you don't like to use the hot rollers. Um, the great thing about this is that it dries your hair at the same time, whereas with the hot rollers you have to wait until your hair is completely dry. But again, uh, it takes more time than the hot rollers, so everyone has its pros and cons, but it's just whatever fits you best. Another thing that you could do is you can tease. You don't have to go all the way up like this, it's not necessary. Just an inch away from the scalp is fine. 
about 10 to 15 minute time to set and then you can spray uh, hairspray on it if you like. Another trick that I do is I put the hair up in a bun with a stick. The why with the stick is because the stick does not leave an indentation mark um, as much as the ponytail does. So after I tease my hair, I pull everything up. Okay, so it's like this. So this will serve for both the ends of the hair and the root of the hair because it's going to be lifted like this for about 10-15 minutes or even have it in the car until you get to work and take it out. So we're going to twist the hair in. The reason why you're twisting the hair is so that you can smooth the ends of the hair. See? And the hair will have a bit of a curve on the end. Then you get your stick. So after I did that, so see there's a loop right there. You're gonna loop this down, touching your scalp, and go over and press the other part down like that. So just let this set, just leave it in here. Uh, for as long as you can before you go to work, take it out or even drive in your car with it, it looks like a bun and then um, when you take it out, it looks so beautiful and voluminous so after you blow dry the hair um, with the hot rollers so I'm just going to tell you the difference between that with the hot rollers, it gets a chance to heat up and then cool down whereas this, or with any round brush or with a blow dryer you take the hair out when it's still hot, so it haven't had a chance to form its shape while it's cooling down. It's been it's being taken out when it's still hot. So a lot of time it may not hold the style for you. That's why the great thing about the hot roller is that it's setting the hair and the hair stays that way. So with this, after you blow dry and you wrap the hair like this, um, it helps to reinforce that style and it will stay like that. So this is how it looks at the back. Just put it in a bun, but the most important thing is that you're wrapping the ends of the hair around and tucking it in so that it's nice and sealed. And so it's been about, I would say, a good 20 minutes, and I'm just going to take my hair down for you to see. So it looks very fluffy right now, but it will go down. The only thing I would fix is my bangs. So as you can see, um, it looks very big at the beginning, but as you let it set, it will calm down. So don't worry about it. If you find that this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and help me raise awareness against child sex slavery and human trafficking. Every day, and I mean every day, children, women, and boys are being sold as sex slaves, serving 15 to 20 clients a day, doing sick sexual things, and some of the children are as young as 47 months old. 47 months old. And I'm not even exaggerating. I got a chance to met one of the victims. And you know what? It's heartbreaking um, to see. And just to, to... I can't... I can't imagine or can't even think of an excuse what people would do with a 47 month old. But unfortunately... Um, these things happen and uh, the children need us to be a voice for them. So that is what I'm doing with these videos. Um, I thank you, you all for watching my videos because <laughs> I know that it's not properly done. The camera is not great. The um, lighting is not perfect. Um, I'm just recording out of my iPad. So thank you for uh, watching my videos even though they may um, look or be unprofessional at times. My point of doing these videos are to raise awareness for my cause. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.